Okay, so the engine room is created by dancers, but we don't want it to be a dance event. Now, when you come to the engine room, there's gonna be a lot of dancers, but it's not a dance event. We want it to be a jazz event where we support the jazz musicians because they play a certain type of uh, jazz music that's apart from neo swing. <laughs> Stuff from the 20s and yeah, 30s. Yeah, 20s, 30s, 40s, yeah, that we like a lot. We want people to come and support the musicians and just kind of create this community where this music can thrive in the live music capital of the world. And I feel like this is the type of music that's missing in that capital. Mm -hmm. So we want it more. We so we more made this. It was back in the late 90s when Neo Swing was huge and uh, the swing fad was huge and I came in dancing, it was so cool, everyone was doing it and then I loved the dance. But then I started to hear this different kind of music and it was, you know, it was a little bit swingier, mm -hmm. it was a little bit more classic, it seemed yes. more jazzier and it was like, wow, you know, this music is unique. I think what sticks out to me most is that there was a lot of, uh, just felt like a lot of heart, a lot of spirit involved in it. It's more about the performance output to me. And I think in generally that's what jazz is about. It's, it's about coming together as a team of musicians and seeing what you can do. How does this group of artists interpret this piece of music? All of it is um, highly skilled. It's not rock and roll, two chords. <laughs> um, it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's multi-layered. Playing this music is not easy. It just kind of really motivates you to jump, makes you want to tap your feet and get out there and do something. <laughs> The two comments you hear most is it's either about the, the technical ability of one of the musicians in the band, not of, on my part, uh, or it's about how, how they're feeling, how light they're feeling. The technical stuff is great. The musicianship is, is definitely something we all shoot for. But to me, when somebody comes up and tells me, hey, thanks, that was the, the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me, that says more than anything to me. I'm sure they're going home thankful, but I'm going home even more thankful. You can go to like a jazz supper club and hear some great jazz, but it's not gonna swing, right? And that's kind of cool and everything, but to get this kind of music, there are very few people who do it this way. Most people do that modern, jazzy, lounge kind of a thing, you know? Which kind of a nice toe tapper, but... You know, playing for the bar crowd's one thing. It's fun, it pays the bills, it's totally awesome. I, I'm not in any way ungrateful for that. But, I would, over that I would prefer like a concert setting where I'm playing for people that are actually listening. People that are there for the music, they're listening and really enjoying what people are putting out. This kind of classic sound is um, fast going away. And uh, there are very few people who do it. And we want to see that, we want to see that music grow. Yeah. I'm a DJ, and, and I DJ this kind of music all the time. But recorded music just doesn't have the punch and the feel that this stuff has. I play mostly this era of music. I don't want to present the music as a just a museum exhibit. I'd rather present it as a living art form. But jazz is a very live music. I mean, you can listen to recorded music. You get a bunch of people that sit around a studio for months on end trying to master one song. And that's cool, that's, that's art for sure. But to me, live music going out, you have one shot. You have three minutes to fill up with sound. And that sound has to be excellent. It has to be perfect. 
I'm not going back. I'm not hitting the rewind button to fix a problem. I just have to play music. Austin has such a great population and dancers, so that's a whole other element. I love the interaction between dancers and music. You know, there's, there's a living, breathing symbiosis happening, you know. I'm playing, and then all of a sudden, I'm looking out and somebody, you know, two somebodies are dancing together, reacting to the thing that I just did. I'm seeing that happen, and all of a sudden, I'm even lighter inside going, wow, cool, you know? Now I'm gonna do something that responds to what they just did. It's always better to dance to live music. Um, you get the, uh, the real feel of the clarinet. The, uh, the trumpet is nice and brassy, and uh, you feel it all the way down to your soul, right? So it's, uh, it's always good to dance to live music. I envision it to be like the Savoy in, in New York City, oh, right? Yes. There was a live band and there were dancers and there were like tables and waitresses and stuff like that. Where people can go and sit down and listen to great bands or they can dance if they want to, right? And that's what we were hoping to get, get to that point. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. Oh, dang, it's so good. I love the song. <laughs>